As part of the Spring Aboard Take a Boating Education Course campaign, the Nevada Department of Wildlife is encouraging boaters to get educated on boater safety. Many course providers are offering discounts or other incentives for students who enroll or complete a boating safety education course. Some boaters are required to take a course. Nevada boaters born on or after January 1st, 1983, who operate a motorboat of more than 15 horsepower on interstate waters must complete a boating education course. Nevada also requires non-residents to meet the education requirement for their home state. But even with requirements in place, many boaters never complete a course. Some people aren't required to have it, and even some who are required to complete a course don't know it. For more information, go to ndow.org. In Las Vegas, the jobless rate stands at 5.1% for January, while Reno Sparks unemployment is below the statewide rate of 5% at just 4.7%. Carson City's unemployment rate is at 5.9%. Due to annual benchmarking or updating, revised December unemployment data for the metro areas is unavailable for our normal month-to-month -month comparison at this time. Compared to recessionary highs, Nevada's metro areas continue to show significant improvement. In the metro areas, Las Vegas gained the most with 34,600 new jobs, a growth rate of 3.7 percent. In Carson City, employment increased by 500 over the year, a growth rate of 1.8 percent. Reno Sparks experienced the fastest growth rate at 4.2 percent, corresponding to 9,000 new jobs over the year. Clark County Wetlands Park will host its fourth annual International Migratory Bird Day on Saturday, March 18th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. This free family-friendly event will feature bird walks, activities for kids and adults, and a live raptor presentation. This year's International Migratory Bird Day theme is Stopover Sites Helping Birds Along the Way, and the event is a fun way to celebrate and bring attention to bird migration. Festivities kick off with an early bird walk led by a birding expert which will be held in the park from 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. Advance registration is requested for the early bird walk via Clark County's website at clarkcountynv.gov forward slash wetlands. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.